How's it going beautiful and amazing people? This is Scott Takai and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys how to create fake lighting in After Effects. All right, so the sample footage that we're gonna be working with today is this footage in an office, which is some corporate video funness, the best videos to shoot in the world. They're so much fun, I can't get enough of them. So the problem that we ran into on this shoot is if you can see up here in the shot, you can see that this light, it's actually on, but on the camera, it looks like it's off. And you can see that in the light and the shadows here on the wall, that that light would definitely be coming from here. But visually, it just looks like it's off. And the client wasn't very happy about that. So what I ended up doing is I ended up creating fake lighting for it and tracking it to the footage. How I ended up doing this is step number one, we're gonna right click, go to new and do a new solid. As far as the color of the solid, you're gonna wanna choose something that matches the color of the lighting that you're trying to replicate. So what you can do here is on the little dropper icon, you can select something in the frame that matches the color of the light that you want to have. But in my case, I just want to make it look like a normal white color so that it looks like it was white balanced properly. So I'm just going to leave that blank. Whoops change that back to white and we're gonna click on OK. And that's how you do it. That looks amazing and we're pretty much done. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on the eyeball and then we're gonna close it out. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to the bottom clip right here and then we're gonna go up to animation and then we're gonna click on track in Boris effects mocha and then that's gonna add the effect right here and then we're gonna click on the icon. So now we're here in mocha AE which is a really complicated looking program if you're not familiar with After Effects but trust me it's a lot easier than it looks. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this X tool, which is called Create X Spline Layer Tool. We're going to click on that. And then what we're going to do is going to push and hold Z. And then we're going to click on the mouse and push it forward. And we're going to zoom in. And then we're going to push and hold X in order to, and click on the mouse in order to drag the clip. And the reason why I chose this specific example of a clip is because right here, you can see that there's no corner. If you were to use other tools in After Effects to do the exact same thing, all of the corners would need to be visible but in our case it's not so mocha ae is going to do a much better job in this situation so what we're going to do is instead of creating the mask on the corners of the light like you think you would what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a box around the light right here and then that's going to create a little masking area for the program to work with and then we're going to go up to the planner surface tool and it's going to bring up this box and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag all the corners to the corners of the light and in this area specifically uh, don't worry about it too much i would just put all the corners on the places that are visible and then for this one right here, you're just gonna wanna place it wherever it looks like uh, you can actually, it actually lines up with the parts that are not actually the lights. So that looks pretty good. So we're gonna zoom out now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here. Whoops, this, this definitely remember that right here needs to be on zero. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the T button right here to track forward. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create corner pin track points that we're gonna be using later. Oh, what is that? It's a like button. I should push it. Okay, so now that the tracking is done, what we're going to do is we're just gonna click Command S to save, and we're gonna exit out of it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create track data, and then we're gonna click on layer seven. What that means is it's gonna copy all of the tracking data from the corner pin tracking that we just did, and then we're gonna push OK. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the layer export to. I'm gonna click on that, and we're gonna pick the solid that we created earlier, click apply. Now that it's applied, we're going to go down to the eyeball and turn it back on. And as you can see, instead of being a solid that fills the entire screen, it is now a solid that is attached to the light. 
All right, so that looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fine tune it a little bit because obviously it still looks like a white solid attached to the ceiling, but we're making good progress so far. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the solid, click on T to bring up the opacity and we're gonna lower it. And you're basically just gonna play with it until it looks kind of realistic. Ideally, you wanna be able to see the texture of the light frame, but then you also wanna see the white that comes out of it. So what we're gonna do is, this looks pretty good. I think it could be a little bit brighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate it. That's what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like after. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the effects and presets and we're gonna click on glow and we're gonna drag that over to our effect. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to glow intensity and we're gonna raise it. And we're just gonna raise it until wherever we feel that we're happy with it and make sure you raise the radius too. So if you lower the radius, you could actually see none of the light coming out of it. But when you raise the radius, you can actually see some little white opaque rays coming out of it. It basically gives the impression that the light is on. So definitely have that in there. And as far as the intensity goes, you can raise it to whatever you want. So you have a lot of control over how this fake light actually looks. And to me, that looks pretty good. So this is what the final product is going to look like. It definitely makes the lighting look more alive and not so dead. Another thing I always like to do is add some motion blur at the end. And that's basically just gonna help it blend a little bit more seamlessly into your footage.